Welcome back to it. It is your Feel Good Breakfast Show live right here on SABC3. It's Express. And when you hear that intro music, you know what time it is. It means we are ready to dive into some really, really exciting uh, tech talk uh, and exciting news this week. A team of researchers at Finn Lenders, or Flinders rather, uh, universities in uh, South Australia, they've released what's being hailed as the first vaccine developed by an artificial intelligence. Now, here to unpack all of this development with us uh, is our resident tech expert, Brian Smith. Brian, good morning. Morning, thank you what's very much. What's going on in the world? Are they about to <laughs> rule us? Is, are, are robots and machines? Don't and, even is, bring it up, man. What's going on? Well, they're certainly taking one step closer. This is a massive leap forward. We know that every year, um, unfortunately, viruses evolve uh, faster than we can, um, we can combat them. But this mm. um, kind of might be a step in the right direction, a quantum leap in the right direction. Mm. Um, let's start at the, the beginning. How was the, the vaccine developed exactly? How did AI play a role here? Most definitely. So this is something that's really exciting. If you mm. think about vaccines generally, what they can be called is sort of a training course for the human body. And mm. that typically what's actually injected to, into, your, into your body when you receive a vaccine is a weakened form of a virus that trains your body how to respond. To activate mm. your immune, yeah. Uh, your immune system, precisely. What researchers now have essentially done is that each year it normally takes a heck of a long time for researchers to actually go and develop their own vaccines. And like you say, uh, viruses themselves can evolve all the time. Mm. Now, what these researchers have done is task two different artificial intelligences. Firstly, to come up with uh, compounds that activate the human immune system as a virus would. And then secondly, they've actually gone and manufactured drugs that would combat that oh, exact wow. virus. At the same time. At the same time. This is just incredible. Brian, the first thing anyone thinks, and certainly me, when I hear artificial intelligence, I think, oh, it's threatening. Uh, <laughs> you know, but there are lots That's... of benefits to it, right? So what would the benefits be of having artificial intelligence in this form do what these guys are doing as opposed to traditional sort of researchers yeah, as we've known over them. and above just the, the, the speed that they, hmm. they can achieve? It. Definitely. So I think to your point about being terrifying, I think this is a really good example of the potential we can unlock when artificial mm. intelligences work alongside with human researchers. Mm. Given what I alluded to earlier, so uh, human researchers developing vaccines can take up to decades. And mm. like you, like we mentioned earlier, typically viruses mutate every every year. So yeah. what will happen is that, for example, this year's influenza vaccine might not be very effective next year. Yeah. The key benefit here is not only the fact that now decisions made by artificial intelligences can speed up this process by about tenfold, reducing this to just a matter of months and research. Mm. Actually, they might even be able to prevent or preempt pre yeah. uh, wow. viruses mutating or essentially create more effective vaccines yeah. in the and future. And how to combat them, I suppose, as well. Wow. Create super viruses themselves, <laughs> is what you're saying, Brian. You haven't, you haven't uh, you know, called my theory at all. Um, uh, no, uh, uh, it is massive. And yeah. how soon will this become widely used? How close are we to seeing these sorts of vaccines actually used in a, in a greater sense? Mm. So here's the really exciting thing is typically this kind of research takes a long time to be made manifest, but the drugs and sort of vaccines that have been made by this artificial intelligence are actually now being used in human trials all the way in the United States. Oh, really? So we could actually see this in development very soon. Of course, to roll this out to the rest of the world might take a couple of years, yeah. but this could be a discovery that's essentially on our doorstep. But it has started. It has started. It's actually quite inspiring. Scary, but thank inspiring. You, the world is moving in a whole new direction. It's also exciting. Brian Smith, thank you so much thank for joining much. us. All this exciting technology news, you can find that on expressoshow.com. Let us know if any tech news in particular has caught your attention. We want to hear from you.